Hello there. It's me and Elizabeth down at the garden today. Say hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> you tough, tough. Uh. Um, we've just come down to bring some of our leeks and things down that from the back garden into the new benches and the top greenhouse for that half up. Um, anyhow, that's not the reason for the video today. The reason for the video is the days I was watching uh, one of the lads who I'm subscribed to on YouTube, um, Neil over at Granad's allotment, and he was kindly uh, he kindly did a shout out for something that a lot of the gardeners are doing at the minute, YouTube gardeners in the community. Um, turns out YouTube are changing the monetary system, so you need over a thousand subscribers to benefit. So to get something going along to help the people who've only got a small amount of subscribers, like myself as well, I'm currently up to, I think it's 92 at the moment, so hello to everybody as well. Um, they're, we're doing, they're getting asked five questions, and once them five questions are answered, uh, you do a shout out for five other guys and they respond in kind with their own answers to the questions. So uh, the questions are, why an allotment? Why YouTube? How long have you had your allotment for? What am I growing? And the last one is my favorite things to grow. So we'll start off with question number one, which is why an allotment? I've grown, I'm 29 now, I've grown for, since I was around about 17, 18. Um, I first got into the gardening um, with my dad, who was got an allotment, who took over from his dad as well, but he majority does pigeons and things like that. Um, does do a little bit of growing on the side as well when he gets time, but he's a really busy man. Um, I decided to take on, I, I helped him with his garden, um, then kind of too busy with work and things like that. I, I, I just started doing small things in my own back garden and stuff like that where I built my own raised beds and stuff. I only had three raised beds in my back garden. Um, but the, the allotment is a lot bigger. It's somewhere to come. It's great. Um, I did actually go through a bad spell with depression, anxiety, and I lost, I, I didn't want to come up the house or anything like that. And it was where, uh, then when my granddad, uh, my granddad Dave said that one of the lads um, sadly passed away who I knew as well on his allotment site. Um, he says that he's there's an opportunity for me to take take this over so i've took over this allotment and um, it was in great condition to start with uh, it was a great platform for me to expand from what i was growing at home so that's the reason as to why why i like to have the allotment for the size the the fresh air the space it's good health benefits and um, it, it did get me through a dark patch and um, we even just getting out of the house and getting the fresh air, meeting the guys, and also not just meeting the guys on this allotment site, but from just having this allotment and looking through Facebook itself, I've met so many different people and learning so much new things as well, which I'm hoping to pass on to everybody else that's watching as well. Um, second question, why YouTube? Well, wasn't planning on doing anything like this until I started watching. It was Dave at uh, Dave's allotment, Bluster Dave. He was the first one I caught eye of because he's just, he's just down the road from me in North Shields. So it was, it was quite cool to see how people are getting on in the local area. Um, so I decided to, I'm useless when it comes to paperwork and things like that. And people kept on telling us the best way to just write everything down. Write what you put, write what you do. Then you'll be able to go back on that and have a look for the previous year. Well, I'm useless when it comes to writing stuff down because I always lose books or I don't write them down. Whereas this, I can film it, I know exactly what I've done, know what's, what's going where, and I can see my progress has happened since, just since September, just looking back, it's great, some of the stuff I can see, see when things have been planted, when I've done things previous years, so hopefully you do this for a long time to come. Uh, how long have I had the allotment for, is the third question. I've had this allotment since last September, in 2017, um, maybe it's a little bit earlier in August, uh, like I say, that uh, I've had it for around about right, since then. Um, not, sorry, not last 70s, 2016, my apologies. So I've had it for, let's say, about 18 months or something like that. Um, coming up to two years this year, this August. So it's it's, it's uh, the first year was all right. Got there, just getting used to the garden and stuff like that, getting used to what needed to be done and stuff like that. Um, hopefully plenty more years to come. I'm busy uh, future-proofing things in the area as well. Um, which is obscene. 
What am I growing? Well, this year, I, I normally do uh, just the general basic stuff, potatoes, onions, um, what else have we been growing, Elizabeth? Carrots, parsnips, uh, cabbage, cauliflower, tried a bit of purple sprout and broccoli this, last year. Um, then, what else? What else have we been growing? Oh, we, we grew some flowers last year as well. Yeah. We did some lilies because uh, my wife, my now wife Leslie, she loves lilies. So we grabbed just a couple last year and that was really cool. So I've started developing this year and we're growing a bit more things um, like leeks. I've never ever, well, I had to tell you, I have grown leeks before. I've grown some mussel brown autumn, uh, autumn king, uh, autumn mammoth, sorry. Um, leeks, which are outside in the bed, which I grew from seed last year. But uh, actually, got some. I've got several different varieties in here now, and also at home. Um, so sell things. These sell these go. Uh, they're coming along all right. But sell things go with them. Um, this, like I say, this coming year, it's all sorts of different things as well. Flowers. I'm going. I'm going to start growing loads of bed and flowers and stuff like that. I'm going to try a little bit something a little bit different with my strawberries as well. So we'll see how things come, but if you keep an eye on my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see how I go on with them and see how things get done, or how I do them in any case. Last but not least, question five is a favourite thing to grow. We'll do two. Elizabeth, what's your favourite thing to grow? Strawberries. Strawberries. Elizabeth strawberries. likes strawberries because she likes eating the strawberries, so I'm going to try a little bit harder this year when it comes to the strawberries. Um, my favourite thing to grow last year was the dahlias. I absolutely love the dahlias. I got a handful of bouquet each week, every week for months it was great so this year i've started a little bit earlier i've bought some pot dahlias as you can see in my previous video um i potted them up i've also got my other dahlias from last year as well they're sitting in the bottom greenhouse here at the allotment um, and i've also bought some more so uh, i'm gonna have a nice i'm gonna have a couple of beds dedicated to dahlias this year as well um just because i think they think they look lovely um also i've also gotten some chrysanthemums to try this year as well um, right, that's, that, that's all five questions I've answered. Um, I'm going to give a couple of shout outs as well. First one, um, Jeff Foreman on the plot. I've uh, I met, right, I met, heard of about Jeff through Dave, um, through Plus I Dave, who knows him as well. Um, I subscribe to his channel and stuff like that. He's absolutely fantastic to listen to. He, he's an old timer. His garden, his allotment is absolutely immaculate. Him and his brother, Roger, uh, their garden is, I can't wait to go and see it. But uh, they've got two huge greenhouses, they've got two huge polytunnels, it, 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 outhouses, buildings, it, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. You basically feed the whole town on what he grows and that, that, that allotment to start with. But uh, it's great for him to follow, like I say, it's another lad from up north and North Shields away. Um, so it basically it's just a case of copying, <laughs> basically copying and see how he does. He does his strawberries fantastic as well, he gets absolutely fantastic strawberries. So if you want to head over his on the plot, or just search for Jeff Foreman. On YouTube, you've got to catch up with all his stuff and how he does his, uh, how he, all he does his stuff as well. Next one, back at you, Neil Robinson from Granad's Allotment. Um, Neil actually lives in my town, um, and actually walk past his garden every day to drop these little tinkers off at school. And uh, even though he's got it all fenced up, I kind of help myself. I'm sure a lot of people kind of do need that, but have a look at other people's gardens, see how they come along. And I know that he's done fun. I've only followed him, only known him for a small amount of time. Um, but just from the past couple of years, just like I said, taking his to school, since he's uh, since he took over from his dad, he's uh, he's come on leaps and bounds in his garden. Um, I've come catching up slowly on his videos as well, which is quite entertaining, quite good. You always learn new things. That's what I think this is all about: learn new things for yourself and pass them on to the next generation, which he's doing with his kids as well as uh, as his dad did to him. So keep it up, Neil. Brian, allotment life. Um, Brian doesn't really post videos himself but he likes to like and uh, comment on a few of many many other people's uh, youtube channels as well as long as mine he's uh, i know he watches mine pretty much as soon as i put mine up and um, it's always nice to have a chat with other people he's always got uh, hints and stuff like that uh, to point out as well so uh, head over to a lot of my life uh, next one george it uh, small small garden channel um i haven't actually spoke i met George, but I have followed his uh, videos for a little while. He does do a lot of. Uh, I've just recently watched his daily uh, videos, so he does them as well. Um, all small things. He's a very, uh, very polite guy. 
very professional as well, the way he goes about his business and his garden looks great as well. So get yourself over there and have a look at them as well. Right, last but not least, um, a bit of a cheap one, um, but this guy's helped me along the way with uh, with my leaks and stuff. He's already got a couple of thousand subscribers and he, he does a big show and everything like that. And that's uh, Mark Shepard from Mark's Allotment Diary. Um, he's the same age as me and he's doing absolutely amazing things with his leeks and onions. He's, uh, he, he go, like I say, he goes to all the large shows, the Malvern and the, the Hartlepool and stuff like that. And I've just been up with his, I've been up his allotment by chance when I got my polytunnel. I didn't realise his was two couple of doors down. And I first met him when I, um, when I won me uh, Peter Glaze book, Giant Onions, off uh, Life at the Allotment on a page on, uh, on, on Facebook. And I was put, uh, put his way when I picked my polytunnel up as well. Um, like I say, head over, he's, he's great in what he does, he's got, he likes his short clips, short videos, um, short and sweet, unlike mine. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's fantastic, the stuff he's got, The uh, if you need anything, you can just give him a shout. Um, so yeah, uh, have, have a look over there, there's, there's absolutely tons and tons and tons of people on, on YouTube. This, like I say, this is fantastic, what people are doing, even if... I don't do it for the subscribers or nothing like that. I do it for just like I say, just as a diary sort of thing to see what I've done year on year out. But it's always great to help pass on tips and tricks to other people, um, and especially these little 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 ones as well, because they're the next lot. Hopefully they take on this when I get uh, old and crippled and the pull is in a home. You better not pull us in a home, mind. No. You get that. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, um, and we'll catch you next time. So bye bye. See ya. See ya. Yeah, we're done.